Hello there guys and gals, the Welsh Hunter here, back with yet another 100% achievement slash trophy guide. And this time we are getting it all in Rift Raccoon. I know I'm a little late, whoa, a lot late, but uh, still. Um, <laughs> so this game was developed by Marcos Game Dev and Rattalika Games, published by East Asia Soft, and is available for a lovely small price of £4.19 slash £4.00.99. As we have seen in the past with these types of platformers, there's not too much of a difference in terms of gameplay and achievements, etc. But it is a fun one, and I did have quite the blast with this. Now, achievements and trophy-wise, all we have to do is basically complete the first 13 levels, which, luckily for us, are not so bad, and there are no enemies, which is nice. And we have to collect three gems, which are very easy to find, so you can't really miss anything, although some of the later levels may give you a slightly inconvenienced headache, for about two minutes anyway. Uh, but other than that, it's fun, it's easy, so let's get another 1k on Platinum, shall we? And with that being said then, let us begin. So as we press the play button, what you can do is if you go down to mode, and then turn that to casual. That basically gives us um, two hits, more or less. If you stick it on um, normal, you are allowed one hit before you die. Casual gives us two. So obviously, obviously as normal, it's the left stick to move, press the A button to jump, obviously avoid the spikes, because man, that shit hurt. This is where we get a checkpoint, blue flag pops out. Don't spike on the ass. Um, you should be able to just um, walk into walls and Rocket Raccoon here will just completely climb up. So we get another checkpoint. Um, if you start sliding down the wall, just keep pushing the left stick to the right, and then uh, Rocket here will keep um, sliding on up. I'm just going to call him Rocket Raccoon, that's fine. Um, now, what you're supposed to do is sort of jump to the left, but it's a bit of a pain in the ass, so it's easier just to take the hit. There would be your first gem as well, so make sure to grab that on the way, and that will be gem one. And that's the first level then already complete. Now, just um, press and hold the um, jump button to skip. For some reason, it wasn't working for me, so, well, it can sugma, quite frankly. But this is where the real test begins then. So you press the X button or square on PlayStation to transport yourself. But you've got to be careful because you can actually get caught in the walls which counts as a hit. And that can count to death. So you've got to sort of place Rocket here quite nicely. And then if you press the down button and then the X button that will uh, transport you down. If you, press the, um, if you press up on the left directional stick. And X, obviously, that will transport you up. So, you know, very basic, easy stuff, but it is just a case. So you've got to jump and then press the transport button on your way up as well. So it may take a little bit of time to just get used to, but once you're used to it, you'll wonder how you ever lived without it at all. So miss the spike, and then that is the end of level two. Now, there's not really a lot left in terms of any new gameplay mechanics or anything like that, so it is literally just a case now, sort of just watch the video, try to avoid any spikes, and just transport where the hell I transport, because of course uh, that will make your life a lot easier, and try not to get caught in between the walls as well. Um, but I will be back in just a little tick, my little sugar deeds. And back sooner than I thought then. So, um, as we jump up, make sure to transport yourself to the right a little if you don't think you can make the jump. And again, just through the walls. And make sure, as we climb up the wall, to jump to the right to just grab the second gem there. So that'll be the second gem out of three. And sometimes the checkpoints in this game can be quite nice. If you die, it normally just transports you back literally a tiny bit. So... Yes, so we've only got one gem to get. There are four gems in the first 13 levels, so don't worry if you do end up missing the three. Um, we can just get the next one a little bit later on. So now I don't think I'll be speaking for a little bit. Just again, transport yourself where you can and just try to avoid dying, you know, because, man, that shit hurt. That 
actually we do have a new sort of gameplay mechanic. As soon as Rocket here starts getting a bit blacker, that means he's running out of breath and can't climb anymore. So what you need to do is transport yourself up. So that's all you got to do then. So if you start running out of breath here, you need to just transport yourself through walls or up. Just to make sure they don't fall off and die. Because again, that shit hurt. Know what I'm saying, B? No, I'm not a good gangster. Man, I stink. Anyway, you'll always take... The, I think you'll always maybe just take the hit. So again, just be careful. Just jump, transport yourself. It's all about where you place rockets right here. But usually you should be good to just nail it. And jump down and carry on. So here we are then, we are into a new world, there's not much that's any different, we've just got um, um, platform levels to sort of go across, um, not really a lot that else is going on, so again just take your time, be careful, transport yourself, there is another gem here, the third out of three that we can collect, and almost died there, but you know I'm so cute that I saved it, so now you don't actually have to worry about gems, it is now just about all about completing the levels, and as you can see I died. Luckily, didn't get put back to the beginning, so spank in your hairy crutch for that game. But on this level, there are going to be quite a few levels like this now, where you've got to transport yourself down, um, and you've got to be careful because, of course, there's going to be a lot of spikes all about as well. So, again, it's all about just about the timing. Sometimes you need to be quick, sometimes you need to be slightly slower, as you can see. So, it's all it, it literally just timing. It's not too bad, though. Even if you do take a hit here, uh, Rocket there does take quite a while to uh, sort of chill out. So just go ahead, transport yourself down and complete this level. So another, just another quick one there guys, so anytime you see any spikes on the wall like this you need to climb just below it and then transport yourself up above it as to not get hit. This will come in handy in just a little bit as well. Don't do what I just done there because there are actually spikes uh, which the gem was covering. So if you did need that third gem then of course, you know, by all means grab it but there are spikes there. So again, this is just a case of timing your way through this. And you should be absolutely golden nuggets, baby! So we've got a new gameplay mechanic just for the last few levels here and they come in the form of whatever they are. Basically you can transport yourself into them to be able to get to the other side there. So if one of them is above you of course you need to be pointing up to transport yourself up. If one's to the right obviously you keep going to the right. Now this was the biggest pain in the ass level for me personally so it's just a case of once again 
transporting yourself above the spikes, go into the left, and then transporting yourself through the wall. So again, it may take a couple of times to get used to. So above, jump to the left, and then you've got to sort of go to the right there as you transport. Uh, those two were the trickiest bits for me. It was just a bit of a pain in the ball sack. And now you've got to transport yourself up, remember, and then transport yourself to the right. And then you should be able to just go to the right, trans keep transporting yourself, and then that is that level unlocked. Again, personally for me it was the first uh, two spiky wall boys which were doing my complete tits in. Um, the achievement didn't unlock for me right here. It does. Got a little bit late so thanks very much for that but we are on to the last level now. Finally, hopefully those tips were okay enough for the last level. Anyway, it shouldn't take you too long. Maybe just a couple of tries. So just keep on climbing up. Jump yourself on this platform. Put yourself to the right and just keep climbing up it is and this is an easier one much easier than the last one and that's that thing guys and cows so another very easy game one that could have taken you just a couple of attempts on certain levels but thank you so so much for watching guys and gals hope this video helped if it did of course don't forget to like comment subscribe share with a friend don't forget to check me out on all my uh, socials as well twitter instagram facebook and patreon Big shout out to everyone on Patreon who continues to support the channel as the, as uh, is with everyone else. <gasps> but thanks very much for watching again, guys and gals. I'll see you in the next one. Be of you.